Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be introducing you to Pattern Maker Macros. The macro is a pre-designed software that is uh, made in software format. You can buy a macro and install it on your PC. You need to have Pattern Maker pre-installed on your PC to use a macro. When you open Pattern Maker, you will see this icon, macro icon. It's going to open your macro folder. So I'm going to open a macro now. Take me to the macro folder. And there you have designer folders. So I have Jinani patterns and I have Lena. Lena was also a designer and one of uh, our best designers and she left left a legacy of uh, amazing pattern making work and uh, macros so i'm going to open uh, the Jinani pattern folder and i have the sketch block here and now it's open and I get the option of uh, a straight skirt or a tapered skirt. I'm going to choose a tapered skirt and then I can open a saved measurement file and populate the pattern with that. So now I can control the length of the skirt and seam allowance. Yes, I want seam allowance and the height of the band 1.5 is good. And the hem 1.5 no i'll choose two inches so this is my skirt ready for cutting and i can print it out and start sewing immediately imagine how fast that is so one more thing i want to do is because i'm cutting on the fold i want to remove the seam allowance on this folded edge um, you can do that if you don't have a full version of Pattern Maker by cutting it off when you print out. But if you have a full version, you can take that out using the Align X to align this line with this. So I'm going to select this point and right click. And then select the point to align. So I'll select these points and then right click and the seam allowance is gone. So next I would move the patterns apart before I print because I, I like to print the selection because um, it's easier that way when you're using a smaller printer. Um, I'll print them individually. So I'll click on this and right click. And the printer dialog is up. So now I'm going to go to the printer setup and change the paper orientation to landscape. There, I have just uh, three sheets. Okay, so I'll print and save it sketch front. So, yes, I've done this before, so I'm just replacing the previously saved pattern. And then I'll also just print the back, I'll print it out and save it. Replace the previously saved. I'll, yeah. And then I'll print the band. Right click. I'll change the paper orientation here. Okay. Print. Waistband. Save. Okay, so that's my sketch macro. I can now save it if I want, but for the purpose of this class, no. I'll just demonstrate another macro. I'm going to demonstrate another macro, which is the bodice. The bodice is the foundation pattern you use for Close the one on the upper body, like um, 
dresses, tops, jackets, blouses, and a good bodice foundation will give you a good fitting garment. So right now I'm going to choose an option. I'll use a shoulder dart here. So next, I'll choose a sleeve because it gives you the option to also print a sleeve with your pattern. So now I'll choose a measurement and then control the feet using the ease so I can change the way this fits. You know, the pattern is made using exact measurements, then an addition of ease. So that way you can manipulate the ease to control the fit. So here I'm taking out the seam allowance because this will be a basic template. I'm going to manipulate it further before um, using it. So you don't need um, seam allowance with that. So this is a macro. And do you see how fast it was? It is pretty fast. So thanks for watching.